Hey guys, uh, Nelson Cuesta here with agentfire.com and today we're going to be talking about the best sources for free photos. So mainly we're talking about photos you can find to use within your blog. Um, the first source we're going to talk about is Google. Now you may already be familiar with Google image search. Uh, let's just go ahead, so right now we're on google.com, we'll go ahead type in real estate uh, as an example and click on images. So this is of course Google image search. Now most of these images you cannot use in your blog. They have all sorts of licensing or copyrights attached to them and, and you, you never want to take uh, an image directly from a Google image search without making sure that you can, it, it, you're clear to use it first. So to make sure that we're searching for only uh, free to use imagery, on the top right you should see a gear icon. Click that and make sure to click on to advanced search now from this page, just scroll down a little bit, you're looking for usage rights. Once you've found that, you'll see by default it says not filtered by license. You have two main options here. Number one, you can click free to use or share even commercially. So this is for images that you're going to use as is. Now if you're going to take that image and you're going to be adding text on top of it or adjusting colors, you're going to want to select free to use, share or modify even commercially. So let's just click this first option, hit advanced search, and you'll see we have all sorts of images and photos that we can use, uh, that are we can legally use on our website. At number two, we've got Flickr. So here we are at Flickr.com. Again, as with Google, as with just about everywhere, you can't just use any image you find. You have to make sure you filter for uh, Creative Commons or free to use. So here we'll type in, do a search for real estate again. Uh, on the next screen, you're going to have two options to filter the licenses. You can either over here click to filter Creative Commons only, or you can click on to advanced search, and you'll see at the bottom you can filter this as well. Um, as with Google, you should also, if you're unsure of where you can use these images, make sure to click here to learn more so you understand the differences. Um, again, if you're going to be modifying the image, make sure to click find content to modify, adapt, or build upon. Now before I go into number three, I just want to mention search.creativecommons.org. Now what's cool about this website is it automatically inserts the Creative Commons search criteria into searches for Google, Flickr, and a couple of others, uh, notably Wikimedia Commons and Photopedia. So definitely make sure to bookmark this site. At number three, and a, a relative newcomer, uh, we've got Yahoo. Now, filtering on Yahoo is relatively easy as well. So let's go ahead and type in luxury real estate. Um, images is over here on the left. It's not on the top. And also on that left-hand column, you're going to want to look for any usage rights. Make sure to select labeled for reuse. And you'll see this is all stuff that you can reuse on your blog. And number four, uh, last but not least, actually one of my favorites, this is compfight.com. Now what I like about compfight.com is it's got a lot of really high quality stock photography. So while you won't find quite the volume that you would find on a Google or a Flickr, the quality is generally going to be pretty high. So here we can just do a search for, again let's try real estate. And you'll see, uh, for me, by default, uh, Creative Commons is already selected. So all of these photos should be uh, free to use on your blog. As always, thanks for watching. For more great videos, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter, and we'll see you soon.